Hey YouTube, Chief Monkey J here. Just got a package from United States, where it work. That's where they come to. Before they open it. We got, cheers mate, SDK, Sheepdog Knives. Thank you for your support, Chief Monkey J. So, let's see what's in it. Today's EDC knife is the knockoff Bokka from China. I want to use that to open it. I do know what's in there. One of the things that's in there. Apparently there's something else. One thing in here is an um, anniversary present from my wife. And you can see why she's a good lady. She's used a serious tape on this. Looks fairly well wrapped, doesn't it? Paper. Ah, oh, there's a note in here. Jay, congrats on the BK3. Hope you enjoy the extras. Cheers, Sheepdog Nice. Right. The main event then. Oh, look at that. K Bar Becker BK3. And K Bar Knife and Tools. Oh, what have you put in here, Sheepdog? Oh, oh man. Green Kydex Sheath. Green and green forest neck knife and the shape of it is to match that bad boy. A little custom pair. How cool is that sheepdog? You're a bloody gorgeous. It's K Bar Becker free PK free tactile. It's not overtly sharp. We'll soon hone that up. Kydex sheath. Oh, that's got some weight in it, that has. Plenty of paracord to make some uh, line out of it. Oh, I have loads here. Sheepdog, you're a legend. Guys, if you're watching my YouTube channel and you don't know who Sheepdog Knives is, it's Sheepdog Knives, SDK Sheepdog Knives, go check him out. He's making some lovely little tools. On his maybe little baby. Nice Kydex sheath. Oh, look, throw it all over the floor. Look. Cold steel, absolute proof. World's strongest, sharpest knife DVD. Look of it. Woohoo! Thought I'd better check the package in before I just launch it straight in the bin. Well, wicked. So, Sheepdog, thank you very much, my friend. Nice. Have fun with that. So next week's EDC knife is going to be this, and uh, it's K-Bar Tactile BK3. We're gonna have to use that. Throw it out. That's now going to be one of my main choppers. Mmm, can't wait to get started. Gonna have to get out in the woods this weekend, I think. Weather's gonna be fairly good. Even if it isn't, it will. Marvellous! Well, thank you, Sheepdog, for sorting that out. Thank you to my missus for buying me a BK3 for our anniversary present, which is awesome. And thank you for the little extras there, Sheepdog. Guys, check out Sheepdog Knife's YouTube channel. Uh, the man that deserves serious props for that. Right on YouTube, thanks very much, Chief Monkey Jay. Catch you later. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Um, just saying, sorry, that's a blooming light on that is bouncing off my head. My incredibly shiny head. Um, 
I just uh, wanted to add a bit on the end of my unboxing video, really, um, to say thank you very much again to Sheepdog Knives, and please, if you're not a subscriber of him, go check out his custom knives and his, his uh, YouTube channel, which is Sheepdog Knives, uh, for, for sorting this out. My, uh, my good lady wife, I'll explain a bit more, really, my good lady wife bought me the Becca BK3. Um, for our anniversary present, I got a perfume. She got me a knife. Sweet deal, sweet deal. This is an absolute mama of a tool. Seven inch blade, quarter of an inch thick spine, flat. Comes as blunt as a badger's backside. You know, but should prove quite a good little tool. We want to get rid of these horrible handles, scales, put on some nice, might make me own my cards for that, but my wife bought this for my anniversary present, how oh, cool, how cool is that, she loves me to pieces and I love her, but thank you very much Sheepdog for sorting this out, I mean the guys in America and these are a lot cheaper to get from America than they are in the UK, including shipping, lovely. Um, so I found one on an American website, posted him the money and he sent it to me, so thanks very much for doing that out bud, that was brilliant. And as you also saw I mentioned he sent me some extra bit of goodies. In there was a load of power cord that he'd um, attached to the eye thing there and I've taken it off and wrapped around a sheaf in this rather interesting pattern so that's the remaining power cord and he also sent me this lovely little necker which I've had on ever since ever since you've sent it really I'm loving the like toxic green um, kydex sheath I'm gonna have to get me some kydex and toxic green um, and make one for this It'd be brilliant um, if anyone knows where I can get molly clips for this, either in UK or post over from the States, that'd be really, really handy. I've got a drop leg pat for them and I want to put molly clips on it and use it on there. But if you can if you <coughs> anyone knows, please let me know. Send me a message. That'd be great. But this little baby. This is the baby BK3. <laughs> not really, because it's not made by Ethan Becker, but it is made by my good friend Sheepdog Knives. I mean, he's stamped the SDK, and it is a fantastically sharp, and wicked little thing. It is razor. I mean, it it's brilliant. Now I love this to pieces already. Um, fits in my hand, lovely jubbly, awesome little paracord um, lanyard on it that he's done and wrapped on the handle. Love the forest camo paracord, but I love the fat. Chris, it's great. I don't know whether you designed this intentionally or just by randomness. But that blade edge, I don't know if anyone can see it, is not level. It's wavy and not quite straight. It's fantastic. I love it. It's just, it looks so much working processed. And and then, then he's gone, oh, well, that'll do, which is great. It suits me down to the ground because that's my type of sort of, build quality when it comes to various things I do, not engines or bike work because it has to be perfect, but things like I've just put a shed up recently and that was mainly, it's at right near enough, that'll do, you know, <clears throat> but this little thing is just beautiful and it's toxic green sheath, I made a neck out of your forest green power cord there, it is absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant, um, so this one can absolutely raise a sharp, really love it. This one came blunt. I mean, you couldn't cut your blooming ass with that. Excuse my French. But just to give you a, a nice little thing, there is the BK3. And there's a little baby. Isn't that lovely? Both chisel grinds. This is a left handed grind and this is a right handed grind. And this has got some serious weight in it for the size. But then again, so is this for its size as well. This is quite a heavy little tool really. It's really nice. But um 
I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. We've got to sharpen everything on this knife. The, the cord cutter won't cut cord. Um, none of the blade edge will. Only the rip, ripple there section. I don't know what you might bloody call it. Serrated section, that's it. We'll cut cord, but nothing else. I mean, it's designed as a splitter at the end of the day and a tool, working tool. Nice glass breaker pommel on the end. Lovely strong with a quarter inch thick spine. That's a hammer, man. That's a, just a hammer in your hands. Um, and it feels really sweet. I really can't wait to get out and use it uh, next weekend, hopefully, if I've not got anything on. I'm going to try and badger Scott from Wessex Blades to go out in his local woods. I've never been out in his local woods, so we're going to take, hopefully take this along. So if you guys want to send him a message, see this in action out there with him. We could have a be we could have a Becker lineup. Send him some messages, badger him that he's got to come out. But yeah, I hope you like this little. I just noticed that almost looks like a cat's face. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> but yeah, we're loving it. We're loving it, Chris. We are loving it. I really, really, really happy. He also sent me a DVD of Cold Steel Knives and stuff, which is going to be really cool to watch. That is just 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 on there. Mate, I can retire any of the bloody folders. Um, it's, it's great. I just realised today I'm walking around and I've got three knives on me. <laughs> just, just three knives. Yeah, they're illegal in the UK. And I bloody got three knives. So excuse me while I relight my roller. It's late at night and I don't really care. But yeah. That's what I wanted to say, man. So please, thank you for your generosity. I am obviously not a huge smiley person, but I am smiling inside, man. In my heart, I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. Um, so thank you for your generosity. I really do appreciate it, man. Really do. Guys, go check out Sheepdog Knives. He is well worth having a look at. Get a look at stuff. Nice guy. Really, really pleasant. Good ideas going on in the knife making scene. Does a skill that I can't do. Fantastic, I love it. I wanted to tag this on to the end of my opening video just so you get an idea of how much I really appreciate all the effort gone to for getting this to me. Uh, I think, again, thank you to my wife. Man, I love her. I love you, darling, if you ever get to see this. Hello. Um, but I do love my wife. So, awesome, awesome. We'll uh, catch you later when we're back out in the woods. We're going again. Yeah, it's gone out again. It's roll these, eh? Who'd have them? Yep, we'll catch you again when we're back out in the woods and we'll uh, test this. Test this beside it, which I think they're both going to stand up. To rock on YouTube. Keep safe out there. Chief Monkey J, catch you later.